Okay, my friend. Shocker du jour. Again, I just can't help it. I just can't help it. I just got this from a friend of mine, which supports everything I have been saying about the Grand Canyon area, the, the Midwest, and so forth. And the geology that exists there, I'm going to explain to you precisely what it is. And this was a product of a great collision, was called Worlds in Collision by Emanuel Velikovsky, described this whole event where not only the Earth was whacked, as you can see, Venus and Mars as well, which you will see now. Okay, my outstanding friends, again, home of the Chagre du Jour, and I have a Chagre du Jour in store for you. This was about Emmanuel Velikovsky's claims about Earth almost being impacted by Venus. Now, I just got something from a friend that supports that very, very strongly, because he also claims that Venus not only caused the global flood on Earth, it also wiped Mars out totally. And I can show you these marks that confirm that almost undoubtedly. And the new information I got from my friend Andre today <laughs> supports it in such extreme amounts. You, you, you see what you think, but I know what I think now. All right, let's start with the birth of Venus from the Great Red Spot. That's not a storm. That's a bump. And as the clouds come by, because it's spinning, and it's a soup. This is literally a soup. It's so dense. And it's a, it's a soup. It's not a gas giant. It's just that this is so, the gas is so dense. And it's swirling past there. That, my friends, is literally a vagina. And this, my friends, is literally where Venus came from. So here's Venus. And according to the ancient texts, Venus was discharged to kill off all the crazy stuff that was on Earth and wipe it clean, basically. Because there was giants, there was monsters, all kinds of crazy stuff. So Venus was sent to wipe out Earth and start it over again. And is also, it was sent to Mars, which is the god of war. Because this is how the whole thing starts, is war. And violence and hatred and brutality. And that's what Mars signified. So, Jupiter, who was the god of gods, he was the top god, Zeus. They have the Greek and the Roman. So, Venus came out of that great red spot. And it whacked Earth in one of these places. These are electric discharges. You can see those are electric discharges. And that's what you would have field to field. You're going to have enormous amounts of interaction of these little electric dipoles. And that's what dipole electron flood theory is all about. It solves all of this. And you would have enormous amounts of electric discharge. Now, and it appears there's more than one impact site. I would say that was an impact site, and that was also an impact site, more than likely, because apparently Venus destroyed Mars. And I can show you that again, I will. And it hit Earth, and it hit Earth where the uranium mines are. And that's exactly what it would do. It would push excess electrons, basically energetic particles into the existing material that was there in that one region, which is the Grand Canyon area. So I'm saying that's the Grand Canyon area, or the Midwest. This is all uranium mines, all right, with uranium mines, locations of the mines. And it's right here, smacked and bounced off. Or didn't quite hit, but forced enough energy into the ground that uranium is just loaded with excess energy. It's too much energy. That's what uranium's all on. It wants to fall apart. That's why, like these things right here, the little uranium detector, radon. How much is it shooting out? You get a certain amount in the background. It's normal, but when you get a lot, that's when you get this. Something it forced 
all kinds of extra electricity, which is nothing more than those particles that want to get out and they start cooking or popping into them. And that's why you got this kind of activity here, is uranium mines, they just have too much energy. So that's when it hit Earth. This is Mars. Mars totally wiped out dead kaputs. And I believe it hit right here and just and hit it hard. And it pushed Mars out of its orbit. It hit hard, Mars. I don't think it hit Earth quite with that much of an impact. But it did gouge the whole top of Earth off. Because in, in some of these areas, you're so deep into the guts of Earth. And I mean guts. I'm not talking about metaphorically. I mean guts. Biology that's down in there. Stomach tissue. Blood and guts. All right, so here's Velikovsky's claims. The Venus formed inside of Jupiter, was born from Jupiter around the 15th century BC. It was ejected as a hot comet, basically, passed near to Earth. He says an actual collision was not mentioned, however, I think it might have. Um, and then they're talking about mythologies and religions and this, this kind of nonsense. And then in the 8th and 7th century, Mars itself was hit by Venus. And then everything went crazy and all kinds of disasters. And then the new celestial order started to take place where everybody was back moving the way they were. Now, can I show you evidence of Mars being smashed, Venus being a collision, and Earth? Yes, I can. Okay, my friends, this is very true, and this guy is the worst of the worst. He says, you go talk to kindergartners or first grade kids, and you find a class full of science enthusiasts. They ask deep questions. But then you go and talk to 12th graders, and there's none of that anymore. They become incurious. Something terrible has happened between kindergarten and the 12th grade. Something very wrong happening. These guys here, these academics, have destroyed the minds of the youth. They become incurious because they've been lied to by frauds like him and frauds like all of the academics that I have run into 100% are frauds, liars, deceivers, and arrogant, incompetent fools. And he's the worst of the worst, Carl Sagan. That fool that I just showed you, Carl Sagan, he destroyed Velikovsky, who had all of the answers to our ancient history. I wrote this book 10 years ago called Mud Fossils and Velikovsky and Minds in Collision. People like Carl Sagan and the people at Yale, their minds are destroyed and they had destroyed the minds of the youth. Now don't forget it. Velikovsky went to every culture on the face of the planet and got all of their stories and they all lined up the same way. Earth in upheaval, Emmanuel Velikovsky, vivid documentation, documentation of the cataclysmic evolutions and that Carl Sagan and his crew with the cosmos and all that nonsense destroyed Velikovsky and they took his books off the bookshelf. They wouldn't allow them to be published. You see that? That's out in the Midwest. This is actually skin tissue. And this whole area got ripped to shreds when Venus came through. And these are actually blocks of, of actual cells. All right, here's where Venus came out of was Jupiter. That's Venus. It was ejected from Jupiter, the feared god Jupiter. Exactly what was written by every culture on Earth. They said it was a fiery comet born from the feared god Jupiter. And it came, and its first thing is it hit right here, the Grand Canyon, causing all this uranium to be deposited here because of forcing extra energetic particles into these particles, creating fissionable stuff that just wants to fall apart because there's just too much energy in there. And this is where it hit, right here. And the Grand Canyon is just a, a nightmare of disaster. It's nothing but guts. You think I'm kidding. This is Vermilion National Park, or, or Vermilion Cliffs. It's up in the area of Nass, Lassen National Park. 
and it's just nothing but guts. This is intestine or stomach tissue, whatever, and that is literally blood. This is literally blood running out of here, and this had been ripped because it was a giant, enormous giant, and you got to get down into the guts, so you got to rip the whole top off, and that's what happened when Venus smacked into here. It just ripped all of the top off, and you're down into the guts, and we got plenty of guts to go around. You see that? This is skin tissue. And this is it's it's cellular tissue. These are tight junctions. Somewhere in the body, this was, and it just ripped the guts right out of it. And you can see the layers of tissue. This is a, the, the Earth was nothing but one gigantic creature, and Jesus Christ said, "He who finds the Earth finds the world." Well, hold on. Not only does he say it here. Jesus said, whoever has come to know the world has discovered a carcass. <laughs> yes, whoever has discovered a carcass of that person, the world is not worthy. And it, you will never hear this from academics or anybody. They are out to deceive you, and they have been deceived, and they are deceivers. And here's another one. I think it was 80. Yeah. Jesus said, whoever has come to know the world has discovered bo the body. Whoever has discovered the body of that one, the world is not worthy. All of this stuff in these ancient texts that Jesus said was based on the fact that Venus destroyed the giants on earth. It was, it was meant to be. It was sent from Jupiter, who was the feared God, sent Venus to destroy earth and kill Mars, which it did. It killed and destroyed Mars completely. Mars is a dead planet now. This is where Venus smacked into Mars. It just tore it to shreds, ripped off its magnetic field, and stripped of its atmosphere, and it's completely dead now. That's Mars. This is the guts in the Grand Canyon. This is nothing but stomach tissue. This guy's walking around on it. And this is up on Mars. These are the Mars blueberries. They're identical to the Moki marbles, which are in that same area on, on Earth, in the, the, the Grand Canyon area. They're in Utah, and Arizona, and all that area. And they're nothing more than the little interstitium balls that hold skin and so forth in position. And after they got killed and rotted away and all that, you end up with these hard little balls laying all over everywhere. You see that? That's heart muscle. These are trees. This is Lassen National Volcanic Park. And this is in that same area that we're talking about. And that is what it looks like, heart tissue. And it's, this is it right here. All right, the red stays red, the real red ones. The black turns black because it's oxidized. This is just heart tissue. Once it oxidizes, it turns black. See, this is up on Mars. These, they're so weak-minded, they can't understand what they're seeing. This is hearts, I mean, this is muscle sarcomeres. These little things are muscle sarcomeres with the red bloody stuff dusted off it. That's an artery, and that's a vein. And this is up on Mars. The big, big to do about this when this all came about. This was 2014, I think. And I contacted all of them. Every one of them, I said, you got you got body tissue here. Because by then I was pretty deep into the mud fossils. And and um, nothing whatsoever from anybody. You see, this is where we got hit by Venus. All recorded. Every Everybody on the face of the planet had the same story. And there wasn't a whole lot of them left after this encounter. It was a disaster. It was meant to wipe out all the giants, and it did. And um, this was the impact site in the Grand Canyon. Okay, there's some new texts that have been found in the last 50 years or so that were the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi texts. And the Book of Giants is one of the books. And it says uh, the Book of Giants is an apocryph apocryphal work that expands upon the Genesis narrative in a similar manner to the Book of Enoch, which was about the giants. 
The Book of Giants stands as an attempt to explain how it was that wickedness had become so widespread and muscular before the flood. In so doing, it also supplies a reason why God was more than justified in sending the flood and destroying all of these giants because they were an aberration. They had to be done with and dealt with and they were destroyed. And that's why he sent Venus from Jupiter to whack into Earth and then destroy Mars because Mars was the god of war. And that was only 800 BC. Now people have to start taking this serious. This is just a nightmare. They, nobody's being allowed to understand the truth because of academia. If you go into academia and start talking about this, they will destroy your life. They will literally destroy your life and keep your money. That's what we've fallen into, is, is this pit of deception. And these people in academia are led by the ones that want to deceive us. These gods didn't die. They're living in those ivy-covered ivy walls. And the worst of the worst are living at Yale. All right, this is Venus, and this is where it smashed into Mars, and this is where it smashed into Earth. Mars was totally destroyed, completely destroyed. Earth killed almost everything, and it was the Great Flood and all that. And Earth is nothing but biology, just as oh, everything is biology. There is nothing but biology. And Comet Bennu, asteroid Bennu, they went up and picked up a sample. This is a all right, nobody is as incompetent as NASA is pretending to be. This is Bennu. They went up and picked up a sample. This is a heart. They came back with it, and here's what it is right here is heart sarcomeres with the phosphate layers, which are the membranes. This is what the rope-like muscles are within a heart. And this, they brought back, it's here on Earth. They know it's got the DNA, the RNA, the uracil. It's 100% biological, and the anatomy is correct. That is muscle sarcomeres, the same as these muscles from a heart attack victim here on Earth. There is nobody can deny this, and they deny it, and they want $11 billion to go back up to Mars to pick up some more samples. It's insanity. We are being raped by the ones that we trusted. This is the National Science Foundation, Smithsonian. How can we better understand Bennu? Well, pay attention to what right in your face. It's just disgusting. It's disgraceful. You have to consider this fraud. There's no anatomist in the world that doesn't understand. That's a heart. With the, the plumbing comes right off. It just breaks off. And it's standard because there's an iron banding there. And you end up with this, which is nothing more than a heart. And that's Psyche. That's another one. There's two of them up there that we know about for sure. And this is Psyche right here. Look at this. Not, not only is it a heart with the valves and the tendon and the blood colored, it has tubes coming out of it. And they don't, they can't understand this. Who the hell is running the science? Who the hell have we given our faith to. This is, just, this is disgusting, it's disgraceful, and I've, I've contacted all of them. And they know, they, they've got me blocked now, and everywhere, I'm blocked from everywhere about speaking, because I tell the truth, and these people are now, I am considering them all frauds and liars as far as I can determine. 